What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. So I popped into Walmart looking for a few items. I started in the men's section because I was looking to see if they had some button down shirts that I would turn into like a jacket, jacket type situation. I seen online that they had some and I wanted to check them out in person. Here they are. So they have this like camo color corduroy looking material for $22 and then they had these three colors here that were nice something you can wear on top of a cardigan or like a, a bando bralette whatever your vibe is and um, I then came across these right here in the back so they had some pretty nice things in the men's section I was really impressed with this particular location so ladies definitely check out the men's section sometimes you can be creative find something and it's good for layering for the cooler months the fall seasons so that that is what i was particularly looking for i ended up um of course checking out the women's section i was a little bit underwhelmed didn't see too much in here but i'm really just trying to see if i can find a camo um not necessarily a cardigan, but like a, uh, what do you call it? Like an undershirt or either a graphic t-shirt. And I didn't come across any that I like. These are some button-down men's shirt that could be layered as well. Really cute colors for fall. But check out this Walmart. Does y'all Walmart look like this with the displays? And this is just so fancy to me. Anyway, I thought these cute little sweaters especially that coral one i really thought these sweaters were cute i'm probably gonna come back and snag one of these this would be really cute with some jeans um or to layer in the cooler months and it was only 19 bucks then i came across these cute dresses i love a good flowy dress something light that you can layer i'm all about layering my clothes especially in the cooler months so they had some pretty cool finds in this particular store, but I'm going to keep going and I, the last stop I got to make is in the shoe department. So, so let me see what else I can see before I get back there. So I had to come to the cosmetic department. I needed a few beauty items. To restock on I needed some mascara this is my favorite mascara brand and then I had to pick up some more foundation this is like my everyday foundation that I used the Maybelline fit me I actually mixed two colors together for that and then I picked up some wispy lashes just in case but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever hey y'all welcome back to another video um if you're new welcome i am in the car heading out getting ready to go to some appointments pick up some things 
handle a little business today as you can see from the title of this video we are going on vacation i'm so excited so today i'll be um prepping getting some things done packing um getting my nails done gotta go to a nail appointment um finalizing all of the things for our vacation so i'm really excited about that i figured i'll bring y'all along for something a little different um with me getting ready so again i have to go to my nail appointment and i don't know what i want to get done <sighs> that's like the hardest thing trying to decide what nail color i want i don't know so um at the same time, I don't want to tell my, even though I trust my nail, my nail lady, I don't want to tell her, do what you want to do, because I don't know what I might get. <laughs> She's so creative, and I don't know. So, we'll see. I'll have to show y'all what I end up with after I come out of there. But anyway, I need to run to Sam's today. I got to go to Walmart. What else I got to do? I need to go get some coffee. Mm -hmm. That's a need. That's a need. What else? <laughs> I think that's it. That's all the outside things I have to do. Now when I get home, I have to wash clothes, which I actually already started doing that because when I go somewhere, I like to have things as put together as possible before we leave. That way when we come back, everything is already put together so um i already started a load of clothes before i left home that way i won't be out long so when i come back i'll finish laundry and finish uh getting things together as far as things that i'll be taking so let's head out and get this day started hopefully y'all are having a great week because so far has been good for me but um yeah let me go ahead and get my coffee because i have not had coffee in a whew, probably a couple weeks now that i think about it so i'm gonna get me some coffee the trick is i really want something from two different places i want to get coffee from my favorite coffee place yellow hammer then I want to go to Starbucks and try the new uh, apple croissant that I've seen they came out on with their fall menu. I don't think I had that type of time. So I'm just going to get my coffee and grab something to eat later. So yeah, that's what I think I will do. Okay, so I'll see y'all after my nail appointment. I made it to my coffee spot and per usual it is so packed I hadn't been here in a really long time at this time of morning and there are two lines Lord Jesus they normally pretty seamless and cool with it but we gonna see how it flows we gonna see how it flows so there are one, two, three, four, six people in front of me. I think I got time. I got time. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still in the coffee line. Just pulling up to get my coffee. Thank God. This was a long one today. So I got like what is called a butter beer hot coffee. Um, 
and it's giving like a caramel butterscotch vibe is what it tastes like it's really good if you're into um sweeter coffees it's really good i just get it how it comes i don't have to add nothing to it and it's perfect every time so let me go make it to my appointment i'll see y'all after that that was just a longer than normal coffee situation for everybody needed coffee this morning apparently so i'll see y'all after my nail appointment all right y'all just made it for my nail appointment and it is about to rain so i really got to get a move on it so i can get back home before it storms look like it's about to storm so um these are my nails if you can see i just got like a french a french with like a iridescent and I got my nails cut down um, because I had start hitting them and when that happens I want to just cut them down because I get clumsy when they're too when they're too long let me moisturize my lips I can't be out here crusty <laughs> so And I've been using when I have on my regular everyday. This is what I use in my lips. This Aquaphor Advanced Therapy. Really, really good for moisturization. Um, so yeah. Let me head to, I think I'm gonna run to Sam's. And I really don't feel like it, but oh. I think I'm gonna go to Sam's. And then I may, if it's not raining, I'll run by Hobby Lobby because my aunt told me to have some um, fixtures and display situations on sale for $5. And I may be able to catch some of that before I head to the house to finish up my packing. So, I was just popping back in before I head to the store. So, prayerfully, I beat this rain. Prayerfully. So, I'll talk to y'all when I get done. Oh, and I'm going to Sam's to return something. A couple of vlogs back, I showed y'all some tennis shoes that I got from... Sam, some white Reeboks that I was so excited about. But when I tried them on again, they were too tight. It's a very narrow tennis shoe. And so with narrow tennis shoes, they don't work for me because my foot is not narrow. <laughs> I have a wide foot. So that particular she was not gonna work and I was excited because I was going to take it on my trip for my tennis shoe because where we're going we want to be comfortable we're gonna be doing a lot of walking and um, I'm gonna have to take it back so I may run to the back to see if they have something else or just get my money back and call it a day just find something that I already have to wear so yeah, that's why I'm going to Sam's. I'm not going to like shop, shop for anything big. Just so happens where I got my tennis shoes from that I need to take back. And I despise taking things back to the store. I don't know why, it's just a thing. I just don't like it. So when I buy something, I like to let it be what it's gonna be. But it don't always work out like that, so this particular time I gotta take something back so that's why I'm headed to Sam so I'll pick y'all back up a little later okay so this is what I originally came here for my aunt ended up getting a couple of these display cases that are old she bought them for five dollars but they got them outside now I assume for free 
But I'm thinking it was something small. This is big. I can't get this by myself. But she ended up putting some pillow cushions on it and make it into a bench. So pretty clever. But I would definitely have to have a truck and Mr. Allen here to get that. <laughs> Alright y'all, I ended up stopping by Hobby Lobby and um, her usual, Hobby Lobby has everything, if you're looking for decor, holiday decor, check them out. But I went in there and grabbed something that I was not supposed to be going there to get. I went to try to see this display shelf that my aunt told me that they were selling for $5. I'm thinking it's something small. It's too big. So... I have been wanting to get one of these gauze table runners, but they don't have the color that I want. I wanna use this on my dining room table. And the color that I'm looking for is like a, a tan khaki color. And the closest thing that they had to it was like a mauve. And I don't want a mauve color, cause that's just not the color. So I thought, I was like, man, let me just grab this white one and I'll, I'll dye it. So I just got this and I'll use either some um, fabric dye or probably some tea and tint this the color that I want. I'll let y'all know how that comes out a little later. But thankfully I missed the, the rain. But at this point, let me head home because I'm not trying to get into no trouble out here in these streets today. I'm trying to stay focused and finish my prep for going out of town this week. So I was just popping back in and let y'all know about what happened at Hobby Lobby. So I'll see y'all probably when I get back to the house. Hey y'all, so I made it back home from the store and um, I'm about to do a quick clean on the kitchen. So um, vacation prep looks different for everybody. And for me, because of the week that I've had, I've kind of brushed over some things in the house. And so I have to have to clean up before it's time for me to go to work tomorrow and before we leave in a few days so i have to um clean the kitchen finish some laundry before i can really settle my mind with leaving leaving out of town for vacation so this is just what i do i love to have a clean home have things put in order as much as possible before i leave so i need to clean um my counters off and put up some dishes and such before I get going. I actually swapped out some laundry when I first got here before I picked y'all up. And um, I have one more load of laundry to finish. And while I um, sort through and figure out what I'm taking on my trip as far as clothes, I'll probably fold up those clothes to get those out of the way. So yeah, I just got to do a little bit of cleaning before I try to get my things ready for the suitcase. And I'm probably not going to put stuff in the suitcase. I'm probably just going to get everything put together and lay it out. That's what I like to do. I'm a type of person, when I'm traveling somewhere, I like to plan out every outfit, the shoes, the jewelry, whatever I'm going to be wearing. That way... I can already know what I'm going to be wearing. And that way, to me, I can pack lists. I do that when I'm doing a road trip or when I'm doing flying or anything. It just makes for a smoother trip to me. So I try to pre-plan everything that I'll be wearing. That way, especially when you're flying, you can pack more lighter, compact. Won't have to pay all that money for extra bags and all that good stuff. But um, let me get going so I can <sighs> knock out this cleaning, okay? Wait a minute, somebody, I wasn't expecting nobody. I'll be back. So y'all, I'm back. 
That couldn't have came at a perfect time. I got a package from Dossier. So y'all, I have um, two new fragrances. I'm so excited because this is perfect. Since I'm going out of town, I can have some new fragrances before I go. So if you're not um, new here, you're no stranger to Dossier. Dossier is a luxury fragrance line that I am absolutely in love with. And um, they have sent me over two new fragrances to share with you all. My lovely, lovely subscriber family. And so I'm going to show them to y'all since I just got them. Like, perfect. I'm in the middle of recording for y'all. And here they come popping up at the door. I love it. So I have two new fragrances. The first one is Gourmand Orange Blossom. And this is what it looks like. Y'all know I love their packaging. It's so sleek, classy, and classic to me. And this is, in, this is inspired by Lancome. The top notes are Orange Blossom, uh, middle notes Jasmine, and the base notes are praline, vanilla, and tonka bean. So let's see what this. See, ooh, I can smell this already. This is a female fragrance. And before I even smell it, it's it's strong. Ooh, it smells good. I'm getting a little bit of like hazelnut. Okay, okay. And I love the jasmine. I love, love, love jasmine. So this smells really good. 10 out of 10 for this one. This Garmond Orange Blossom. Inspired by Lancome. Love the way that smells. And then my other one is Fruity Jasmine that they sent me. I've actually had this one before. The Fruity Jasmine. And I am down all the way down to the end of that one. This for sure is a 10 out of 10. This is one of my go-tos that I love to grab. This one is inspired by Dior Jador. I love this because it's like a really light but sweet fragrance. To me, it's kind of like an everyday fragrance for me. If you ever smell the inspired uh, fragrance. The top notes on this is Mandarin, sweet tea, middle notes is jasmine, and peach. I really love the peach in this one. The base notes are sandalwood, plum, and musk. And I think that's why I love it so much. Because I'm a, a musk and sandalwood girl. <sighs> I am too excited to get a new bottle of this. This just smells so like sweet and fresh to me. I love it. I love it. So, of course, per usual, Dossier gave us a discount code for us to shop our hearts out. Okay, go on their website and try these two scents. This one, again, is Fruity Jasmine. And the other one is the Garmin Orange Blossom. Of course, I'll have the code and links linked down in the description box for you all to try them out. I love, love, love everything .ca stands for. And I love that they are a um, satisfaction guarantee company to wear. If you just happen not to like your fragrance, you're able to ship them back and uh, get your coins back. Okay. So, I'm quite sure you're not going to have that problem. Because I have loved, love, love the scents that I've received. So, perfect addition for my travel. I'm definitely taking these two with me, y'all. So, yeah. I just wanted to pop in and share that with y'all before I got started cleaning. So, I'm going to sit this to the side for when it's time to pack. Okay? So, let's get into the rest of this video. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The 
world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out back in I just finished cleaning up and um, so yeah I had to come into the office to get me I got my I ain't trying to expose myself hold on okay so I had to come into the office to handle a little business before I moved on to um doing something else and I realized I had these lashes that I ordered on Amazon and I wanted to test them out to see how they do there the brand is magnetic I think 3d eyelash extensions this is what it looks like it has like um the eyelash clusters in different sizes. It has a bonder and the sealer and the applicator. And I was like, let me take a little break and sit down and see how these lashes will do. Um, I actually already got my clothes and stuff pulled out. I am probably not going to show y'all what I'm packing because um you'll get to see that in another vlog so I won't show y'all what I'm packing I'll just show y'all that in another vlog but um I forgot I had these lashes so I need to see it came with this tool situation right here and then it came with the bonder, the bonder and the sealer. And then these lashes. So, they're like the shorter ones all the way to the long. I don't know. We shall see. I'm so used to my wispies that I normally wear. But I've been wanting to try these. So, I think I'm going to try these out and see how it goes. What y'all think? Have y'all tried them before? So, oh, my instructions failed. Hold on. So, this it came with this instruction card. I've seen so many people use this. Um, so, we shall see. So, let's say basically... You use the flat tweezer to grip them. You brush the bond on my natural lashes. One to two millimeters away from my eyelid. Stick the cluster under my lash, away from my eyelid to avoid irritation to my eye. 
apply the lash seal at the at the bonding point to make your lashes waterproof and long lasting we about to give it a try check this out i'm about to check this out so i don't know if i better do this on with the camera on i got me a mirror right here that um look i'm so used to my glasses Y'all, and I tried to get my contacts before my trip, and I couldn't get them. So I may or may not have some contacts to take with me. Because I'm actually, I go through these seasons where I like to wear my contacts, I like to wear my glasses. So now I'm ready to wear my contacts and give my glasses a break. So I'll have to probably... Not properly. I know I'll have to get me some uh, contacts when I come back. So that's okay. I'll just do that when I return. But yeah, I'm gonna try these these lashes out. These are my natural lashes. They're pretty short. Pretty short. So something else, y'all, with my skin, I've noticed. Since I look, I'm since I'm so up and personal, up close and personal with y'all. I noticed, and I talked to my esthetician about it. Um, she told me that after my last facial treatment, that I could possibly um, have some what she called, I think she called it purging. I was about to say shedding, <laughs> but I think she called it purging. Um, and this is what like this mark I have a mark here. And here on the side of my nose and she told me what I needed to do I can't even tell y'all what it is because I forgot um, but I have to put it on the screen but she told me what to do for like the hyperpigmentation that I'm having on my skin so that's been kind of irritating me but it's okay I'm just actively working on helping with those marks and things that have come up since then and I'll uh, just of course go back for my regular schedule facial the next time but yeah moving on I'm nervous why am I nervous okay so the bond they say put the bond on first and then seal it at the end Is it black? Oh, it's black. Okay. So the bond is black and the seal is probably clear. Yep. Why I gotta smell stuff, I don't know. I don't know. But let me try to get this hair out of my way. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay. I would probably like the small one. Ooh, it ain't coming up. It's on here tight. Ooh, I just broke it in half. Which can't, which might not be a bad thing. So this is like half of a piece that I mistakenly broke. I wish I had my other tweezers here. So yeah, okay. So here it is. Let me see if you can focus. You probably can't see it. So this is half. So basically after I put my seal on there, I will stick this underneath my lash. Okay, and so I wanted to measure this so I can see the size. And no, you can barely see it. So. I'm not gonna do shorter. I'm gonna go with the medium. So I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna put that one back because I'm sure I'll need it for another part. I'm on here. I'm out. I got y'all on here experimenting with me. But what I'm not gonna do, I ain't gonna let y'all sit here and um, watch me make food myself. 
I'm gonna have to let y'all go so I can do this and come back. Cause I'm already nervous. And then Max over here trying to climb on me. I gotta pack Max bag too, y'all. So he uh will be going over his uncle and aunt's house. And he'll be spending time. Yeah, you'll be spending time with your uh cousin. With Molly. So that's where he's going. So I gotta pack his bag. You wanna go see Molly? He be torturing Molly. So that's where he's going. So I gotta get him together. I'm gonna try to pull this off without breaking it. Got it, okay. So I gotta get Max together before we leave. So this is what the longer one looks like. It's medium. So let's see. how long it's gonna stay on y'all let me know if y'all any of y'all have used these okay i can see it i can see it let me let y'all see you can barely see it but yeah okay i'm finna go for it i'm finna go off camera and try these and i'll be back okay if i make a fool of myself don't laugh at me <laughs> i'll be back Y'all, I like it. Can y'all see a difference? So, I've been seeing a whole lot of videos saying how easy it is, quick, yada, yada. It was pretty quick, but it's not as easy, of course, for your first time. But I can definitely see myself being able to pop these on really quick. So, I used... How many? One, two, three, four. I use four. So let me show you what it looks like. Y'all about to be all in my eyeballs. Who knows? You might want to get you some. So let me show you up close. And let me flip my eyes so you can see it. So I put them right there on my lash line. Y'all see it? I only used four. And it was it was pretty simple. I like it. Now I'm used to doing my strips. The strip, I just got that down pack. Boom, bam, pow. I can do that really easy. Um, but this is something I'm willing to give a try. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll try this for my trip. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and seal it just to see how long these stay on for the fun of it. But yeah, I like it. Come on here, I wing wispy. Uh, I had a little quick, I had a little incident. One fell in my eye, y'all. I, I almost fell out this chair I'm sitting in. But I got it out really quick. I'm used to touching my eyeball because I put contacts in all the time. But I really like this. What y'all think? <laughs> Max, I'm coming. Okay, y'all. I think I'm gonna let y'all go for now. I'm gonna come back 
Now he didn't knock over my bag. I'm gonna come back later. I just wanted to bring y'all along for this quick little thing. I'm gonna pop back in probably when we leave out, okay, on travel day. So we'll be leaving in the next, what, 48 hours? So I just wanted to try these out and um, I'm probably gonna take my, my strips on my trip because it's just quicker. But I'm definitely going to be giving these a go. Okay. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, I think. Okay. Bye.